My dear friends, as we celebrate uh, Pentecost Sunday, uh, we uh, realize that Pentecost is uh, 50 days after the resurrection of Jesus. It is the commemoration of the descent of the Holy Spirit. It was on Pentecost that the descent of the Holy Spirit, the third person of the Holy Trinity, uh, became a public manifestation by which the crowds were amazed, including local and foreign Jews who gathered on that great occasion. The, the Pentecost is the fulfillment of the promise of Jesus that the Advocate will come and uh, He will be the one to guide and strengthen them. Uh, we realize that uh, that the that Pentecost is uh, will tell us that uh, the Lord is so faithful to His promise. One of the marks of being a Catholic is implicit in this event because different people with different languages could understand the apostles or the disciples preaching in different languages. And the Spirit dispelled their fears and made them firm in their witness of faith. Made them firm in the, it made them it made it made them newness in, in, in their in their life. It renewed them in their in their in their life of faith. And they are being strengthened in their mission to proclaim the message of the gospel. And through the gift of the Holy Spirit, we are gathered together as one people of God. At Pentecost, the Lord empowered the disciples with His gifts. You know, our catechism is teaching us that there are seven gifts of the Holy Spirit, and that is wisdom, understanding, counsel, fortitude, knowledge, piety, and fear of the Lord. Also, this Holy Spirit gave, gave to us the 12 fruits of the second seven gifts, namely charity, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, generosity, gentleness, fidelity, modesty, and self-control, self and chastity. As we come together to celebrate this great event, let us ask the Holy Spirit to refresh our weary minds and heart and lead us to fresh dreams, to forgive so that we can experience mercy, to share goodness that we may create beauty, to have sense of sacrifice for the good, to give us peace and to share Lord's love that we may realize joy. My dear friends and my dear friends, we must discern always in our prayers the ways of the Holy Spirit so that He will direct us to what is true, to what is good, and to what is beautiful. As we come together, we realize the Lord is always there for us because of the Holy Spirit. But we have to embrace the Lord also in our lives. We have to cooperate. We have to accept. We have to respond to the Lord. So we need, you know, to live our faith so that we'll be able to, to discern where the Lord is leading us, what the Lord is wanted us to do. And when you talk about what the Lord wants from us, the Lord wants always what is good for us, what is beautiful and what is true. So may our good Lord continue to inspire us, 
to touch our hearts so that like the first the, the, those, uh, those disciples who were gathered during the Pentecost, we may always be inspired and be strengthened in our proclamation of the message of the gospel. And so, my dear friends, let me pray with you this prayer of the Holy Spirit. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and enkindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your spirit, and they shall be created, and you shall renew the face of the earth. 